Press statement of Choi Sun Hee, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. The United States, which had eventually thrown the security of the European continent into a war crisis with the illegal escalated expansion of the NATO to the east, is now trying to commit immoral atrocities of endangering even the innocent peaceful inhabitants. On July the 7th, the U.S. president announced a grave decision that they would offer cluster bombs to Ukraine, triggering off a great international criticism. Cluster bomb is recognized as a very dangerous weapon of mass destruction, and so its use has been prohibited internationally. Even at the moment, many parts of the world are ceaselessly damaged by the cluster bombs dropped by the U.S. forces. The United States decided to offer such a lethal weapon to Ukraine, which is a very dangerous option and reveals its true colors once again as the disturber of peace that regards aggression and massacre as its national policy and mode of existence. It is no wonder that even the Secretary General of the United Nations made clear his stand against the option of the United States right away and the international communities increasing its censure. The U.S. President confessed that the recent step was a difficult decision. It clearly shows to the world once again the brazen-faced behavior of the United States, the top-class war criminal state, and a country proliferating the weapons of mass destruction, which takes no account of the lives of the peaceful inhabitants, for keeping its supremacy, though it knows well enough that its offer of cluster bombs would result in a gruesome aftermath. The United States has to expect a tremendous catastrophic aftermath if it holds the weapons of mass destruction even its satellite states are reluctant to do into the Ukrainian war for use. The reality clearly proves that the United States is the ringleader that intentionally prolongs the Ukrainian situation and the terrible enemy of humanity that spoils the global peace and security. Upon authorization, I, in the name of the government of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, vehemently denounced the U.S. decision to offer weapons of mass destruction to Ukraine as a dangerous criminal act to plunge the world into another crushing calamity and strongly demand its immediate cancel. The recent decision of the United States can never break the indomitable spirit of the Russian army to defend the dignity and sovereignty of the country, but will further redouble the anti-U.S. will of the Russian people. The DPRK government and all the Korean people are sure that Russia would bravely overcome all the trials and difficulties and win a final victory and send the full support and solidarity to the just cause of the Russian people once again. Pyongyang, July the 11th, Zuche 112, or 2023.